This property has a special place in my heart. Part of my soul is resting in this river. I come down and I look over this water. It's tranquil. I've had it for a long time, my wife and I. And for somebody, this is going to be their future. It's a special place. Always has been, always will be. Hello, this is Tori with Landio, and we're on a mission to engage, educate, and empower you to realize your land dream. Ride along with us as we explore this historic Texas property on the banks of the tranquil Brazos River. We toured this lush, one-of-a-kind mesa with land enthusiast and owner Joe Shirley, a lifelong land investor with a particular affinity for waterfront properties. Traversing the land with Joe and his wife Colleen was like a trip back in time as he told us stories about the celebrities and prominent historical figures that once visited the ranch this property was a part of. Stick around because later in this video we'll dig deeper into the historic Seabold Ranch and the business it has now been transformed into. Please give this video a thumbs up, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on new videos. This property is located in Palo Pinto County, Texas, just over an hour from the city of Fort Worth. Just east of Fort Worth is Dallas, Texas, with a population over 1.2 million. And in between Dallas and Fort Worth is Arlington, Texas. The region is commonly referred to as the Dallas-Fort Worth-Arlington Metroplex. When you combine Dallas, Fort Worth, and Arlington, along with the suburban areas adjoining them, the Metroplex has a total population over 7.7 .7 million. If you're in downtown Fort Worth, Texas, and you head west on Interstate 30, that will turn into Interstate 20, continue west on Interstate 20, and that will connect you to State Highway 180. And the property has frontage on State Highway 180. And you can get from downtown Fort Worth, Texas to the property in just an hour. And as you're heading west from Fort Worth to the property, when you're just a few minutes away, you'll go through the city of Mineral Wells, which was made famous for its natural healing springs. The city of Mineral Wells achieved global notoriety in the early 1900s when word got out that the water from the natural springs could cure all sorts of ailments. Celebrities, politicians, heads of state, and prominent business leaders flocked to Mineral Wells for the benefits the natural spring waters were said to bring. While visiting Mineral Wells, people often stayed at the famous Baker Hotel. Some of the names on the guest list included Judy Garland, Clark Gable, the Three Stooges, Lyndon Johnson, and his wife Lady Bird, Roy Rogers, Will Rogers, Jack Dempsey, John Wayne, and Ronald Reagan. The Baker Hotel is the tallest building in the city and is currently undergoing a massive renovation that will bring new life to this historic hotel and the area that surrounds it. Today, Mineral Wells has a population around 15,000, there's a hospital, Walmart Supercenter, groceries, restaurants, hardware, a tractor supply store, and Harbor Freight. Let's go back to the historic Baker Hotel for a moment because it has a unique connection to this property. As we mentioned earlier, this property was once part of the Seabold Ranch, which was the vision of Elmer Seabold and his wife Ginger. Elmer Seabold was the heir to an oil fortune, and his father provided him with the funds to acquire over a thousand acres of land which he then developed into the Seabold Ranch. But Elmer was not just some non-productive trust fund baby. Elmer was an inventor, a master blacksmith, a gunsmith, and a nationally recognized sharpshooter who would demonstrate his sharpshooting prowess by shooting targets blindfolded and backwards. We actually had the opportunity to stay at the Seabold Ranch, and we'll be releasing a separate video about the Seabold Ranch and what it has become today. Here we have the nearly 12-acre property on the interactive map, 
you can see Highway 180 running along the southern boundary. Along the east boundary is the Bankhead Highway. If we zoom out just a little bit, you can see along the entire west boundary is the Brazos River. The Brazos River is one of the largest rivers in Texas and the 11th longest river in the entire United States, spanning over 1,200 miles. Early Spanish explorers called it the Rio de los Brazos de Dios, which translates to the River of the Arms of God. Inspired by the many tributaries of the Brazos River that spread out like arms, the Brazos River is also sometimes used to mark the boundary between East and West Texas. If we go over here to the map legend, click on overlays and then turn on the water features and then zoom out a little bit further, you can see the path of that Brazos River as it majestically winds throughout this area. Now we're in the Google Earth terrain view. This is south of the property looking north. And if we get a little bit closer here, you can see the terrain. We'll be referring to this top portion of the property as the Mesa. You have a big level area up here at the high elevation point and more level and gently sloped areas down near the Brazos River. Then if we head east of the property and look to the west, it provides a good perspective of how the Mesa ends at this property. And long before Highway 180 was ever paved, this pathway was used by pioneers, cowboys, and ranchers that would travel through this area and they would come along traveling just south of that mesa. And this is where there's a more shallow spot in the Brazos River that would enable them to cross. And now we're west of the property looking east. For people heading into Fort Worth, once you saw this mesa and crossed over the Brazos River, you knew you were just a little over 50 miles from downtown Fort Worth. And some people consider this to be like the entrance to the city. If we go back to the interactive map, click on the map legend, then click on the overlays again. Let's turn off the water features and turn on the contour lines. Now you can see the topography of the property. You have this nice big level area here on top of the mesa, which offers expansive panoramic views. And there are multiple access points on the property. You have access from the east along the Bankhead Highway. There's a gated entrance and a road cut in. You take that road up here where it splits into a Y and both paths lead to the top of the mesa. There's also a gated entrance off of Highway 180 that takes you to the lower portion along the Brazos River. And there are electricity lines and poles already on the property in two locations, both on top of the mesa and down by the river. And if we zoom out again, you can see this mesa extends north, and all of this land here was once part of the historic Seabold Ranch. And right here was the headquarters of the Seabold Guest Ranch. It was completed in 1946 after a decade of planning and construction. It was designed by renowned architect Charles Dilbeck, and it was the first of its kind in Texas. It has now been tastefully restored and given new life as the Rest Yourself River Ranch, which serves as an event center and vacation rental. There are 35 guest rooms, which can accommodate up to 86 overnight guests. And if there's not an event taking place, you can stay there overnight just as an individual couple or family. We were blessed with the opportunity to stay at the Rest Yourself River Ranch while we were documenting this amazing property. And you could feel the history that was emanating from the walls and the grounds. There were a lot of exciting events that took place there with some very unique people that were regular guests at the Seabold Ranch. Be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are going to be releasing a tour of the Seabold Ranch. And if we look just west of the property in the Brazos River, you'll see this concrete structure. This is a water intake. The owners told us about a natural spring in the river near the property, and this is a deeper area of the Brazos River. And this water intake at one time was the main source of water for the city of Mineral Wells. And this water intake can still be used today to supply water for this property. After spending the afternoon with Joe and Colleen on this beautiful property, we watched the incredible sunset to the west over the Palo Pinto Mountains and reflected upon the day. And during this period of reflection, the word that really came to mind was legacy. Legacy is a term that transcends time. Just as decisions made generations ago have left a legacy that impacts us today, the decisions we make today are leaving a legacy for the generations of tomorrow. Which brings up the question, what do you want your legacy to be? For nearly 25 years, Joe has been the steward of this property. It has brought immense joy to his life 
and to the lives of his family members and friends. Joe has cared for the property with love and respect, and in turn it has loved him back. Having the rare opportunity to visit this property myself, I can see how one could fall in love with this property at first sight. But the love of this property did not start with Joe. It has been regarded as a trophy asset for generations. And if you would like for this property to be part of your legacy, head on over to our website at Landio.com where we have a lot of additional information about the property and the surrounding area, including over 100 images. Just click this Expand Images icon and then click this grid icon to view all those images. You can simply click one of those images to enlarge it and then navigate through the rest of the images. You can scroll down on the page to see a detailed property description. The property taxes are just over $100 a year for the entire 11.89 acres. Here we have the distances to nearby points of interest and links where you can find more information about those locations. We also have the GPS coordinates and links where you can open those on a Google map along with the KML map file. This property is priced at $2.2 million and we're grateful to work with Texas realtor Steve Madison of Keller Williams Realty on the marketing of this property. For questions or to purchase this amazing property, please call or text Steve anytime. His number is 972-207-4310. Again, that's 972-207-4310. Or you can simply fill out this Contact Us form on our website. If you'd like to speak with Landio, please call or text us anytime. Our number is 866-8-LANDIO. That's 866-852-6346. If you like the way that we present properties and you have a property that you're looking to sell, just click this Sell Property button. That will take you to a simple form where you can provide a few pieces of information that will enable us to connect with you to discuss your property in the process. Our mission here at Landio is to engage, educate, and empower people to realize their land dreams. For us to be successful in this mission, we need your help. Please share our website, our YouTube channel, and our Instagram profile with everyone that you know. The more people that we reach, the more land dreams we can make come true. And it will be an honor to serve you. Thank you and God bless. Here I am now, 67 years old. I've had this property approaching 25 years. And it's part of me. I travel out to this property when the city gets too big. It brings peace to your soul. How's that? <laughs> <laughs>